right, Fluffy Cutters, today, <laughs> today I'm going to do a video on how to make slippery elm syrup um, to give to a cat that might have digestive issues or that might have trouble pooping. This is one of the things that Camus, my parents' renal failure cat who passed a week ago, we did for him and um, Murphy, his brother, who's only five days younger than Camus, um, is also benefiting from it. I got the recipe from, I think it's called Tanya's uh, Renal Failure site, but I will include a link to it. It's an awesome site. It is full, chucked full of information. And it's just a, another option in addition to like Miralax or Pumpkin or something like that. So first I'm gonna show you how I give it to Murphy and then I'm gonna show you how to make it yourself because this is the batch that I made last week. So it's kind of like an egg white consistency. It's supposed to only be good for like five, seven days. So I need to make a new batch. You can get syringes from your veterinarian and your cat might also eat this like just mixed up or whatever into their food. I'm just used to syringing, so that's what I do. But we got these syringes on Amazon. I literally just syringe it up. So this slippery elm bark just tastes kind of earthy. I like to put one drop on my finger to make sure you can tell the egg white consistency. And I taste it. I make sure it kind of has a sweet taste to it. So then I know that it's okay to give to, to Bo. Murphy is Bo. And that's what, um, his, his name is Murphy, but I call him Bo. I always try to shoot it on their tongue so that it doesn't go into their lungs, but also I like to have his head up so it falls back because when I was giving it to Camus, his head sometimes would be down and it would fall out of his mouth. Like the egg white consistency helped it fall out of his mouth. So now I'm gonna show you how you go about making this and we'll let Murph go do what he wants to go do. Hi. I'm gonna include a link to the recipe. I might copy and paste it too in case that's more helpful. The first batch that I did, I did not do it right. It took forever to get it right. And so I wanted to show you how I did it in case. I, I went to YouTube looking for, see if someone else had done it and they hadn't. So that's why I wanted to do this video to help someone else if you've never seen it made before. They recommend a stainless steel or heat proof glass pan. So my parents luckily have one of those. So you put one cup of cold water into the pan and then you put uh, one or 1 1.5 teaspoons of slippery elm powder into that cold water. I kind of try to make it spread evenly across this. And the slippery elm powder I got off of Amazon. It's an organic. I'll link to it so you guys can order it that way if you want. But it's just slippery elm bark powder. So it says to sprinkle the slippery elm bark powder onto the water, let it sit until the powder is damp. This shouldn't take too long and then bring it to a boil. You can see now that the powder is pretty much damp. There's a little, some obviously that hasn't melted down in there yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the heat source. If the sound of metal scraping on metal bothers you, I'm sorry about that, but basically you want to stir this until it comes to a boil. And then once it comes to a boil, you're gonna reduce the heat and simmer, stirring constantly until it thickens three minutes or so, and it will be the consistency of watery egg whites. And man, first time I did this, I think it took me like 15 minutes, and it would, I obviously did it so wrong after I learned how to do it properly. So once it's gotten to the boil, then we're gonna reduce it to a simmer and keep stirring constantly. Um, and you can see the consistency is starting to be like egg whites or how I'd like to say snot. Um, it's really getting toasty in there. I'm gonna really lower it down. So I think it's there guys. I mean, that's pretty much the consistency that that other one is. So then I just take it off the heat source and then I will let it cool. And then that I'll put this in a new Pyrex for next week for Murphy's, just to help him poop. Once the slippery elm syrup has come to room temperature, then you can put it like in a Pyrex bowl or something like that to store in your refrigerator. And the ingredients or the 
the recipe says that it can store for about one week. I tend to let it go like seven to 10 days. That's why I always taste it to make sure it's still like uh, all right. And then I just use it slowly over the week. I don't even use the whole thing. I could do like half a cup and maybe use it, but my mom syringes it like every other day for him or if she doesn't see that he's pooped and she'll syringe it for him because um, I don't live with my parents. So it's easier that way. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I'll include the recipe as well as a link to where you can find it um, to give credit to the proper source below. And I just think it's so important for them to poop because that helps everything else operate and flow. And every so I'm a big proponent of watching your cats poop, not only the consistency of it, but the frequency of it. So I hope this helps. Thanks. See you next time. Bye.